Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for round two of the Geek Tech Industries live stream. Uh, so Stick is here, and we've got Other Red 5 along Hello. for the ride this evening. Hello. And so we are just finishing up, changing up my list. I'm making a quick change here based on some suggestions by Other Red 5. And then uh, we'll go over each, uh, we'll go over our lists for this second round. I'm not sabotaging him, it makes it better. It's true, it's true. I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I realized, wait, this man is intelligent and he's giving you good advice, you should just take it. It also means that he can match my initiative bid, which is important because he's playing Tel Traver and I'm playing Dash. Yeah, that is important for Tel. Red side, you're pretty much ready, right, right? I just need to find a ghost dial. I think that's a fantastic idea well, for Stardust. The, the what? The Stardust series. Oh, beautiful. Because uh, some of some of the viewers may not have uh, been here for the first uh, first half. Oh, like people who just got off work and like like Mikey who just joined good, us. Not good friends. I know they're terrible people. <laughs> See, this is your channel, not mine. So if I upset your viewers, it's fine. It's fine. We already upset our viewers, so I mean, the, upsetting them really just means you'll be invited back. Uh, yeah, so the Stardust series is uh, a charity gaming convention happening here in Victoria, BC. It's going to be lovely. On Saturday, June 24th, uh, from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. We're going to be there all day. Um, and all of the proceeds from this event, so that includes ticket sales, uh, raffle tickets, anything you buy from vendors, uh, there's going to be a portion going towards the charity, uh, towards the Victoria Women's Transition House Society. And they run a shelter and other services for women and children who are escaping abusive homes and situations. So fantastic uh, tournament and event for a fantastic charity. I got these here. And it's going to be a great time. So uh, what what all events are we are we having there? So if uh, if you're there on general admission, you can hang out, play board games, uh, you can cosplay, take part in the cosplay contest. Take uh, photos with 501st. Woo! Uh, as well, you have the option of joining the Magic the Gathering tournament, which is a standard constructed tournament um, with uh, sign up for draft and sealed events um, upon participation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an Infinity Miniatures game tournament. If you guys are uh, unfamiliar, Infinity is a skirmish-based uh, miniatures game with some absolutely gorgeous-looking minis. They're, they're probably the coolest miniatures of any miniatures game I've seen. Yeah, yeah, uh, hands down. I totally agree. And uh, then, you know, the best miniatures game out there, Star Wars X-Wing, <laughs> is definitely our, our biggest... That's going to be the, the top-tier premium event. With the top-tier prizes. Yep. Some of them being these lovely metal dice these things these are beefy if you get a hit you'll know it <laughs> and then uh, we also have here uh, my personal project uh, alternate art Sabine damage decks awesome so, so these are the force awakened damage deck they'll be offered uh, in a, a limited edition start of series 2017 set to the top eight competitors of our x-wing tournament uh, and then if you didn't win one, uh, you're going to have the option of uh, purchasing a set that doesn't have the special 2017 logo uh, that says that you kicked butt and did awesome at our tournament. But <laughs> it's still uh, the prettiest damage deck out there. And if you don't believe me, we can compare it right here to the only other uh, alternate damage deck that I've seen, the official Darth Vader. Now, of course, that one is from the System Open Series... Uh, which you picked up in Seattle at the Indoor Open, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there, there you go. Some lovely stuff about uh, a lovely tournament that's coming up, the Stardust Series. It's going to be fantastic. We'll be there with uh, the recording gear, likely doing some streaming, so keep your eyes peeled. If you're not local and you can't make it out, that's fine. We'll bring it to you. But uh, if you are local, come on out. Get on the stream. Get, up, get down there playing. Have some fun with us. It's going to be great times. Even if you're from the mainland, we uh, we hired a bus that's going to be taking people 
Oh on yes, the, the shuttle bus. On the cheap front, it, it's not a shuttle bus. It's it's a full size bus. It's a full size bus. Okay. I can take uh, forty eight adults. Nice. Uh, for five dollars a ride, from uh, from the ferry in the morning to the event, and then from the event back to the ferry in the evening. Nice, fantastic. What a great job. Swartz Bay ferry. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are flying completely different lists for uh, game two. We've completely changed things up. Uh, we're each flying two large ships, um, both with a fair amount of hit points and a fair amount of uh, potential damage. So uh, I'm going to let uh, Other Red 5 cover his list first. Okay, so I have a 53-point Lone Wolf Dash uh, featuring Lone Wolf Heavy Laser Cannon Outrider title with a Smuggling Compartment Burnout Slam and Ray Crew. Nice. I uh, love that Ray Crew. She's just awesome. Uh, out of all the dash builds, and I've tried them all, uh, except I suppose for really kooky things, uh, this is my favorite. Of all the competitive dash builds, this of all is your favorite. Of yeah. all the competitive <laughs> dash builds. Yeah. And, and that burnout slam is so key. It's the truth. Um, and then I have a 46 point uh, Lothal Rebel mm -hmm. featuring an auto blaster turret, fire control system, Harrison Dula and Ezra Bridger as crew with. Plasma torpedoes and guidance chips. Nice. So the some pilot. damage. He's gonna soak some damage. So the the plasma torpedoes are mainly a meta decision. Um, everyone needs to have an answer for Fang fighters, and for me, that's four dice, um, secondary weapons, uh, with, denying them the range bonus with lots of dice modification. Yeah. So I've got guidance chips on a four attack dice ship, giving me extra crits. I have Ezra Bridger if I'm stressed. I have my actions if I'm not. Yep. And then uh, auto blast or sorry, uh, fire control system guarantees that I'm gonna have. Uh, You're gonna have that target box attacks. ready. Awesome. So uh, I went with uh, a two ship build that uh, is strangely similar and yet strangely different at the same time. So I've got uh, Ventress and uh, Assange Ventress and Tal Travera. So Ventress, uh, one of my all time favorite pilots. I love her to death. Uh, I've got gyroscopic targeting on there, push the uh, push the limit, lats, razzy, burnout slam, and glitter stim. Just because burnout slam is kind of awesome at the right time. Uh, and then Teltravera is uh, his sort of regenning bill uh, self there, um, with punishing one title to increase his uh, attack dice, guidance chips, and a plasma torpedo. So same idea. I'm going to turn up that crit on the uh, plasma. Uh, gonk, so that I can gonk a bunch of shields up in the early game and then use those in the late game to uh, uh, keep myself alive after I've regenerated. Um, push the limit to get the action economy out of that so I can continue to gonk. And unhinged astromech uh, so that I get the three speed greens. It gives me that one right, uh, right side green maneuver. And then burnout slam, because why the hell not? Totally. Okay, so we are each uh, 99 points. Absolutely. So now we'll roll off. I'll, uh, I'll roll this time. You go ahead and call it, sir. Ah, uh, blanks. And we get, ooh, hits. hits it is. So we have, you're a three and a seven, mm -hmm. and I'm a seven and a six. So I will take initiative uh, so that I can shoot first. Okay. Uh, so let's start placing some rocks here. So uh, upholding the sacred tradition of no take backsies. No takes backsies. I, I will uh, suggest that in the future. In the oh, kind because of, of Ventress's ability. It's probably better to give me initiative, mm -hmm. so that you can reposition Teltravera after I've repositioned Dash. That's a good point. I was thinking more of the combat round and getting the shots in first. So. Well, there's there's always simultaneous fire. Oh, that's true. That's but true. yeah, you could uh, you could weapon uh, weapon failure someone. Well, and. Yeah, you never know. You never know. And, yeah, honestly, I've also realized that uh, if you've got Ventress, it's a good idea to give up initiative uh, in case somebody's got Wigman. Because they're Wigman triggers. By right, the way. No, nothing to do. Here, have a stress. Oh, shit, too late. Your Wigman's not going to take that off. <laughs> By the way, that is an official hashtag. Hashtag sacred tradition, no take back <laughs> Feel free to use it. Feel free. Okay, so there's the first one there. First one. Okay. Do you remember all those uh, those range tricks I was telling you about? Some of them. Some of them. The range 5 being range 2. Or, sorry, the speed 5 being range 2. Mm. So you can set your... Uh... 
What about uh, the barrel roll one? Barrel roll one? Yeah. Well, the length of uh, your large ship base plus the the one uh, template turned sideways is a one full range distance. Oh! Yeah. I did not realize that. Dep uh, depending on the cant. So, like, range one and a barrel roll is... Or, sorry, I should say speed one and a barrel roll. So the so the barrel roll is, is this template? Yep. On its side, which is half of a, a small ship half base. Half of a small ship base, yeah. And then uh, that's two small oh, ship that's, bases. Oh, so two and a half speed two plus a half. Is one range band. Is one range band. Ah. So if you barrel roll away, you're getting away one full range band. Or close to one full range band. Interesting, interesting. If, Good uh, to if know. If you're at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Keep that in mind, folks. I'm giving you all the strats right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Right there. Yeah, there. All right, putting that one out there. These two left. Giving them the finger. There we go. Last one, sir. There we go. Now, of course, he's got dash, so this time he doesn't care about landing on debris. Unlike last time when he <laughs> took his uh, um, his uh, outer rim smuggler and dropped it directly onto the rock in the first turn. There's so. significantly less derp. Yeah. The last match was very Honestly, I, I blame Leia. She just grabbed the wrong lever and was like, oops, sorry! It, it's, very, <laughs> it's very trolly in the case that I took a very messed up squad, lost 39 points of ship, before anything happened and still and still it won because derp <laughs> okay so that barrel roll really did your know. three is gonna place first sir three. all right and so it begins the lothal rebel don't drop them game so, yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, we're, we're proposing a drinking game every time it looks like the lothal rebel is gonna totter off its base you take a shot and uh unfortunately you'll probably be dead of alcohol poisoning by the end of the first uh half of the game Mm hmm. Okay, uh, so Ventress is gonna get in there now. Both of their ships. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, because initiative. Because initiative. Let's see. Let's see. I don't really want to joust because turrets. There we go. So there's Ventress. And then her arc is going to start facing to the right. Uh, Mikey's and talking then, about his tugboats. Hmm? This, Mikey's talking about his space tugboats. His space tugs. Nice. Actually, I put the list together with um, Ventress and Contracted Scout and Unkar Plot. It looked a lot of fun. I might try it another day. There you go. And there's Teltravera doing his thing. Dash. Hanging out. Hanging out. Okay. Okay. That's the guy. Let's set some maneuvers. Ready to and we start. get this show on the road. like the antiques road show but without the antiques or the road okay all right i'm dialed in yep same here okay i'm gonna start the timer may the force be with you sir boop go for it and then gonk 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 so you're going to start saving up shields for later. I'm going to start saving up focuses. <laughs> yeah, totally. you got the focus gonk over there. It's going to be a long game. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those. Uh, so I think uh, your Lothal Rebel goes first. I think I think once anything gets in the sights of uh, of these two Rebel ships, nothing is, is going to be a long game. Nope, not really. That's, uh, that's a heavy, heavy lot of damage you got there. Oh, I'm just so excited about that torpedo. I just, 
I don't want to spend points on a shuttle, but I want to have that back arc mm -hmm. once per game. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the rear arc torpedo. I forgot you're gonna be able to get up, get your target lock on the uh, initial pa uh, go okay. past. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ventress is gonna do a bank three. Ventress, no. <laughs> I can't get uh, Team Four Stars, Dragon Ball Z to Bridge Napa out of my mind. Just can't. Just can't. No matter how many years it has been since I've watched it. Yeah. Vegeta, can I keep it? <laughs> uh, it's I'm so gonna focus. Cute. And then he's gonna do a bank three. So I was just keeping up here. You do know the jump master is left to turn left, right? Yep. I mean, it's okay. I got this. Starting out. Got this. Going counterclockwise. Got this. Are you going clockwise on the board? It's fine. Clockwise on the board. Uh, he's going to focus as well. Ah. You're not going to gonk and then focus? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm used to doing it the other way around. So, yeah. A gonk, a shield, and then focus. I'll grab my shields. I need some shields. I do need some shields. Do you really need the focus? Cause mm -hmm. that's that's stress. Yeah. Stressing yourself. That's fine. I'm gonna do a one bank with dash. Is he? He's a lone wolf, but he's also a sensitive soul, and he likes his friends. He's he's like, man. Sometimes I just want to get away from you, but right now I want to hang out. It's I'm, I'm a little needy. Hang out, <laughs> hang out with me, little fellow rebel. Alright, so I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna put my gonk next to him to. Remind myself that it's there. So I, far, I out of five pilot cards, Dash, my most played so ship, sweep tokens, has been uh, my only pilot card not to have a you know, a promo card. I don't have a Dash. It's gonna have you to. Know be, what? That's gonna have to be the start of series custom card. That makes two of us. I've got a. Uh, I've got a, uh, Corin. Which. To tell the truth, I've never actually flown Corrin. I love Corrin. I just, I feel like anytime I could take Corrin, I should probably take the Ghost or Miranda. Right? <laughs> or, sorry, a, a Lothal Rebel or Miranda. It just doesn't make sense to spend all those points on him. Two turns in, I haven't landed on any uh, obstacles. No, well, you know, you, you know, I it's haven't not dropped, Leia flying right now, so it's I fine. haven't dropped my ship. <laughs> it's wobbling still, though. You can see the shake. Yeah, it's got some tremors going on. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a target lock. Okay. On uh, tell, just to see. Just a little too far. Just to see how far. I'm gonna take a focus token. I really like that. Uh, so I'm going to do Ventress, who's going to do a forward three. And, uh, she's just going to focus for now. And then Tell is also doing a forward three. Sheds the stress. He's gonna gonk a shield. And then I'm gonna push the limit. Dual barrel roll. Oh, whoa. That's interesting. Some points are right there now. I know. It's not going to be far enough, is it? It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's okay. Maybe we can 
It's going to be fun. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to do one bank. Still hanging out with my bud. Just using him for cover. Yep. Hanging out behind him. Checking out that engine. Making sure that torpedo's loaded solid. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Poking out at me. Alright, uh, start a combat. Alright, start a combat. I am not going to take a focus off Ray. Nope. I don't think I'm in range to. I don't think so either. Yes. But you can shoot me now. Yep. So, range three. No range there at all here, right? So, range three. Oh, ghost. Let's trade some shots. Yes, let's. So. Uh, nice. Oh, dang. Yep. And I'm not going to spend it. No? Because you're going to spend it on the attack now, aren't you? Uh, hopefully. You know what? But if I get like a whole bunch of hits without having to spend it, I'm not going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> so Dash has no shot, obviously. No, Dash has no shot. So Lothal Rebel gets to shoot back with... And uh, that one is cocked. So I hit... Wow, hit. that's pretty solid already. A focus. Focus. Uh, I'll spend it. So three hits. I'm going to get three dice because range three. And uh, evade one. So two shields. Okay. okay. He's not too worried. He's back on. He's not worried yet. He's not worried yet. Okay. Sweep and, tokens. And uh, I'm going to take a target lock from my fire control. Oh, yes. That's right. Fire control system brings you up a lock. There you go. Okay. Da point that on Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, we're going to Oh, that's right. No three turn on the Jump Master. Just the three bank. I gotta try and see if I can do that. Yeah. Okay. The Lothal Rebel goes first, sir. Okay, then I go two straight. I'm really disinterested. In, you know. You're wobbling. I think we go. Super wobbly. Because I think any way that you go that you can clear your stress and start doing stuff, you're not gonna be able to take. You're either going to get shot at, or you can dodge my Eric and uh, keep your stress. Hopefully. So I'm going to. I'm take hoping. A focus. Tonight. Genuinely hoping. Okay. Ventress is going to do a turn three this way. Uh, she is. I don't think that's going to be range two. So I'm going to leave my arc the way it's facing. She's going to. She's going to focus and then push the limit to acquire a target lock on the Lothal Rebel. Right there. Yeah, I lost the shield there. And then uh, Tell is going to try a bank three. Oh dang! Good. Just enough. It goes over. Yeah. No, that's fine. Womp womp. 
It gives them out of arc. That's all that really matters. Shed my stress, though. Don't get any actions. And you have to roll. And yep. Ah, oh, it was close. It was close. Nothing. At least I didn't land on it. Okay. I was honestly hoping I would just clear it and then barrel roll. But I knew it. You three didn't work. <laughs> Too, if it weren't for that metal, some metal finger that you put. Yep. You put down. Ah, you I barrel rolled down. too close to. I did. Screwed myself. No one to blame but yourself. It's true. I seldom do. I'm gonna take a target lock. Actually. Yep. Yeah. Th Again, this guy's okay to land on debris. So. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah. He likes it. It's. It's just what he. How he spends his free time. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So, start of combat. Yep. I'm going to take a focus on Ray. And I don't think I'm in range two of Ventress. Nope. Range three. For sure. So, you get first shot because you have initiative. I do. I do. Now, it looks like I got a range two. Uh, it's, this is outside, isn't it? Yeah. Range two obstructed. Uh, yep. Yeah. Or a range, range three, three on dash. At this point, more hits in the dash would be a good thing, but I can focus my shots on the Lothal Rebel. But really, that's part of your strategy, is any time that I'm shooting at the Lothal Rebel, I'm not shooting at dash. What? I know, right? <laughs> but I am going to do three dice at range two, obstructed at the Lothal Rebel. Because at least I can get some hits in. And I got a feeling that your three dice with a focus is better than my three dice blank. So, two hits into the Lothal Rebel. And it's obstructed, so I get a defense dice. Yep. Doesn't matter, though. So, two more into the Rebel. Lots more to go. Lots more to go. Oh, yeah. He's got 13 health. Yep. All right. Uh, and now Dash is mm -hmm. going to shoot. The guy going after Caltravera. You betcha. So two Heavy dice because HLC. And I've got Ooh, uh, woof. Lone got Wolf. Oh, no. Target lock. Yeah, but target lock. That's right. I was going to say Lone Wolf it. does not trigger. And I get another hit. Nice. So four hits. Four hits. And that's three. So one, two, and a damage card. Liquid the damage. All right, and then Ventress is going to do her range three on the Lothal Rebel. It appears to be obstructed. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. Could be obstructed twice. Uh, not that that matters. Oh, you know what? Well, it has to be along your arc. Oh, that's right, within arc. Oh, no. Yeah, because it's my secondary, though. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. So, yeah, it is unobstructed, sir. Gotcha. That's right, you didn't turn it. Nope, I left it. I left it. So three dice. No. Uh, I'm gonna spend my target lock on the blank. Nice. All right. Two hits and a crit. And that's the rest of my shields. Oh, I gotta feed a lot more into them. All right, four dice into Ventress, who gets three dice. All right. So using my primary weapon. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to spend that... Spend that focus, focus and turn it up. I would, too. For four hits. Yeah. Yeah. There so it is. Be four hits. And unfortunately, you got no stress for me to pull. Oh, my God. Blanked Blank completely. Place. Jesus, Ventress. What the hell is that? Okay. Okay, and I'm going to... I'm gonna move my target lock. Okay, and end of combat. Or no, uh, yeah, that's end of combat. So I'm gonna yep. put my focus back on Ray. Yep. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Hmm. 
There's no way to not get stressed this year. Yeah, I know. It's just, just too close. All this gunk. Alright, uh, you're good? Yep. I'm gonna do a 5k turn. 5k! Which, as we know, is... <laughs> this is really valuable for evaluating whether or not I'm going to be use, able to use a lone wolf in a turn. Mm -hmm. I can choose my dials and know exactly from the beginning uh, where okay. people are going to be. Yeah. So I have focus token, which powers up Ezra. Yep. Now I can turn one focus a turn into a crit. As long as you're packing that stress token. I've taken six shields. Ventress and has taken three shields and a hull, and Taljavir has taken five, four shields and, and a hull. Yep. So he's doing much better right now for damage dealt. Dash is sitting pretty. Uh, so Ventress is going to turn three. Getting out of there. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a whole lot of choices, really. But unfortunately, she is going to rotate her arc. I can't shoot you, though. And then uh, drops that. She's going to push the limit to focus. That's a good image. There we go. Uh, and then I got Tell. There he is. Who's going to do a bank three off to the right? No matter what, he was getting stressed. Stress for him. Roll an attack die and get two nothing. Okay. And Dash pushes after him. Just like Corey. So because I knew that any move bigger than a one turn would have put me within range two of Ventress. Within range two of oh. my partner. Oh, okay. So you're trying to keep out of his. Um, Trying to, try to keep the lone wolf. Yep. Keep the dream alive. Keep the lone wolf alive. All right, and then I'm going to <laughs> attempt the target lock on uh, Telchaver here. Keep yep. the pressure up. Get it. And start combat. I'm going to take a focus on three. Yep. So I'll do tell into uh, dash. Looks like three dice at range three. Range three, unobstructed. All right, so just a flat roll, two, uh, two hits. And I get to re-roll my blank. Yep. Well, I'll just double check. Yep. OK, and I will spend a focus. Well, at least you don't have the focus for attack now. Nope. So, small blessing, small blessing. All right, range three on um, Tell, secondary weapon. Yeah. It doesn't so matter because it it's still four hits, and Tell's pretty much dead. Holy shit. Yeah, he doesn't get any evades. So ah, uh, cock die. Come on, Tell. Oh, my God. This will activate his ability. It will, which is really sad. I don't want him to die already. So that was uh, four hits. Four hits. Two, three, four, they all get thrown away. And one, two, three, four. You can see how, how different this would be if you gave me initiative. Yep. And also, if I hadn't been going this way instead of that, the other way. Because instead of me just kind of like doing. I thought my unhinged and... would be enough to make up for the other lack of greens on this side, but. You really just want to be going in the counter conquest. Yeah. I was like, no, I don't have to NASCAR. I can do it. Yeah, I know. Um, Ventress is going to... Look so night, Mikey. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Good night, Mikey. Uh, so Ventress has range three on uh, Dash. Here we go. Wow, that is atrocious. She's gonna. Yeah. Ah. Oh no! I thought. Why did I think that? Nah. Okay. Well, do I have range three on the? Yeah, I do. So that's my that's my only choice. Oh, same roll. It's all 
I'll spend the focus to turn it in, into two hits. Okay. And it's not obstructed, is it? No. I think so. No. Okay. I'm gonna take some damage. Woo! I'm into the hole. That's oh, that's half now, isn't that's it? That's half. Woohoo! I'm halfway there. <laughs> A quarter of the way there. A quarter of the way there. Okay. All right, and now uh, I have no shots. No with the shot with the Lothal because arcs. And there's no tokens to sweep. It's all these obnoxious metal dice. Defense dice don't work. You don't want to use these for defense. No, they're terrible. They're apparently terrible. <laughs> <laughs> air bubbles. I blame air bubbles. Well, the uh, <laughs> the solid sides. A little bit heavier than the sides of engraving. They would be by and like just a couple. Are, are opposite other. Uh, yeah, so by by just a couple of grams, micrograms probably even. Yeah. Not not enough to matter. Not enough. Not enough. Oh man. Ventress doesn't have a lot of choices either at this point, so. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Lothal Rebel, ready? Yeah. Bank two. Bank two. I'm shocked and amazed. He's going to lose that stress. Ezra's like, goodbye. Oh, he's really close to that rock, but I think you're just short. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. You just nudged it, but you would have not nudged. You would have been, like, literally there. Yeah. It's that big base that just bonks into things, you, man. You gotta take wide turns with the ghost. Any yeah. any kind of sudden movements, <laughs> yeah. or like picking it up off the mat, yeah, it's gonna knock it over. Yeah, truth. Uh, so I'm gonna take a focus. Okay, uh, Ventress is gonna do a turn three. What? I know, right? Ventress, three turning? Never. Hopefully, you have a never turn always. No, I'll three turn to be fine. I'm at 45 degrees, so it'll pop me right back over here. Uh, okay. so sheds my stress. I am going to rotate my arc and then push the limit for a focus. Uh, Tell is going to do a bank three, which is green, and shed his stress. You always get... No, so in the, in the spirit of fair play and getting better at a squad... Yes. At the end of your last turn, you could have rotated. I could have. That's true. I sh I, and I probably should have. I'm used to putting engine upgrade on Ventress. Because you, so you could have an I'm not used right to now. doing that. Uh, all right. I am going to gonk a shield off. And then I will push the limit into burnout slam. Okay. And uh, you can it only push it. the limit. Oh, it adds it to, adds your, it to your bar. That's right. Yep. It doesn't say action, do a slam. It actually adds it to your bar, so yep. you can push the limit into it. Mm -hmm. uh, probably not far enough. Did it get a shield? I did, but I also gave myself a stress and possibly caused myself to fly off the board. Mm -hmm. Just don't do the three bank things. Yeah, maybe we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I remember, I only did a one bank with dash, like so. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. And this, then barrel This roll. is this is the low risk play with dash render. Is I'm gonna attempt to target lock on my opponent. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll barrel roll closer. But it did work. All right, I already have a target lock. Whatever. Okay. Um, I'll focus. Okay. Okay. No, no. I uh, I attempted a target <laughs> lock. I can't change my action. I just reacquire the same target okay. lock. Okay. Okay. Because it does give me the the advantage of checking. Oh, range. because you, now you've measured. So I, I can't just say no. I'm taking something else. Yeah. I checked range. Still, range three obstructed is not a bad shot for you. Okay, and then I'm gonna take uh, this. Yep. And. Uh, you get to shoot first. I do. So I have range, range three, three obstructed. So 
three dice. Mm, four dice. Four dice on Ash. Comes right. up. Oh, oh man, that's terrible. So two blanks and a hit. Comes up more action. More often than you think. Well, you, you really get used to the idea that Dash is like a three agility ship because you just end up because you're just three. always at range three. Yeah. So or obstructed often. or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, and he's good. So Simply more than enough. Now Dash is gonna finish killing off Tell again, right? <laughs> Maybe. So it is obstructed, so I'm gonna get three from? dice. But you do have your target lock and to make that hurt. Okay, so that could stand for a regular hit. And I'm gonna spend my target lock. And then, ooh, what? Not gonna spend the focus? No, I wanna save that. Oh, to put back on Ray. And three. Hits. Three. Uh, wow. Which is enough. Holy shit, Tell. How is that shit? What a guy. I know, right? What a blow. One, two, three. What a waste of oh, there's, torpedoes. There's a shield. There's a shield. It still was more than enough. Yeah. So, yeah, one less. There you go. You have Gonk there. And thank you. Gonk is dead. You just needed more more movement options. I just shouldn't have started facing left. That was that was really stupid of me. I, I honestly thought that uh, or giving me was was uh, nice going to give me enough surprise. Yeah, but I haven't flown this uh, flown, flown the jump master in so long that I forgot that they don't have a turn three on don't me uh, at all. So you can shoot. I don't think I can shoot anybody. Oh no, I got dash. range three on dash. Okay, yep. so three dice into dash. I'm gonna roll like three of eight. Yeah. Or three focus results. I'm be so happy I kept it. And uh, yeah, I'll spend the target lock to make it a hit and a crit. The focus? Or yeah, sorry, the, uh, the focus. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm gonna spend your target lock. Yeah, don't you know? Ventress has that thing where she can spend other people's target locks. Oh my god! <laughs> Ah, it's, right. It seems like Dash is surviving because of like crazy dice for variants. And it's like, not. I, st I still have three dice and a focus. Yep, it's not so bad. Uh, it just it's it's it yeah the salt. <laughs> salt is a thing. I can't remember if that asteroid is longer than a ship is. I think it's shorter. I could just do a one and leapfrog over it. Probably could. I'm not gonna take the risk. A two is enough anyway. Is is not gonna get you to collide with anything. I am gonna is it? do a two straight. What? I'm just showing you that. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you're gonna go first anyway. You're like, I'm changing my down. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Really, I don't have a lot of choices in that corner. I, uh, I got basically a turn three or a turn three. Okay, I'm good. Okay, Lothal Rebel. Yeah, a one straight would have cleared it. So I assume this is the focus he's taking. For, he's taking for education. Oop. Oh, it would have probably just been passed. Yeah. And yeah, he's gonna take that focus. He's gonna take this one about root right here. This is how <laughs> Ooh, tight. This is how you properly manage a ghost. On here, the I'll, table. Uh, I'll hold that for you if you need both hands. He's happy. Ooh, tight. Toy like a toy dish. All right. The problem with the ghost is it just bleeds in with you. And uh, venture it. Well, it doesn't matter in this game. I didn't think of like turns. You're about to give her a plasma torpedo in the face. What? Actually, you're probably gonna do it. It's range two. Why would I? Why would I plasma torpedo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're she's just, got no shields just, left. What's the point of that? You're just trying to put these ideas. And in my she's. Head. Oh, sorry. She had my stress. I'm gonna. Well, I do get auto crits. Rotate my arc. I do get. You auto do crits. get auto crits. That's true. Yeah. And then uh, I'm gonna push the limit to focus. You know what, crits are fun. They're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you turn your... Yes, I did. Okay. That's why I pushed the limit to focus. Oh, because you want to stress me. Yeah. I see how it is. Yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, damn it. I thought we were friends. Oh, we are. We are. That's why I'm stressing you. Because I always stress out my friends. 
Which one? So you have initiative. You start a combat shenanigans. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a stress on dash. dash. I don't want to give you crits. Dash. dash. You're already getting crits. Dash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you stress me, it just gives me extra dice exactly. modification. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna take a focus. Yeah. Ezra Bridger. No one ever uses Ezra. I, like I know him. he gets he gets short shrift, but uh, he's useful. Especially with Hera. Like I haven't had much stress this game, but sometimes people just five k back and forth. Yep. I think he's a defender because he has Hera. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> it's gonna be devastating. Four points. So this is uh, yep. Okay. Oh, oh, it sure is. He always gets crits. I don't know why. And I'm at range two of uh, my love call level, right? Yeah, easy. Yeah. So no. I can't lone wolf. Uh, you can't lone wolf the focus anyway, but you can spend that focus. I'm going to spend uh, my target lock. Yep. Uh, no, I'll spend the focus. Okay. For four, four hits. Okay, I'm going to roll so you to save the target two. Uh, well, that's terrible. Uh, I'm going to spend the focus for that and pull your stress for another one and take two. Two. Um, shit, you're going to wreck me so hard in a minute. Okay. Wreck me first. How much health? Can't you kill you. Uh, I got uh, four. One, two, three, four. Can't kill either of you. So I may as well continue to shoot into the Lothal Rebel and get some more damage in. So three dice into the Lothal Rebel at range two. Because fuck you, Dash, that's why. Oh, man, seriously! How about you take nothing? <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right. All right so it's tempting two. to just pop my torpedo, but I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to take a range 2 primary attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to spend that focus. Jesus. You've just been maximizing your attack dice all game. Oh, I haven't had to reposition. And I get one evade. That's three damage. Three, and uh, that leaves me enough. one health. Ventress the hero. One, two, three. She's going to do it. Uh, no, she's not. No, she's not. She's good. She ain't that good. Okay. Uh, I am... Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm going to rotate my arc at the end of combat. Lothal Rebel! Sorry, I'm just gonna just modify. Lothal Rebel is trying to escape. He's like, you got, I got exactly the half. Uh, I just want to get out of here. He's gonna fly around. Dash, go to that side of the board. <laughs> Who knew that he can move laterally so well? I mean, that's some serious thrusters on that thing. This is just, well, look at his engines. <laughs> <laughs> he really should have boost. And uh, I'm going to take a focus token. Okay. Uh, Ventress is going to do a bank three. Ventress, no! Oh, it might be too close to that debris. No, you're good. You're safe. I think you're right. Don't knock down my ghost. It's not the ghost. I don't have the title on. It's just mm. some BCX. Oh, dang, 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 dang. See, I kept my torpedoes in case you did a turn three. Yep. 
but I should have put my arc behind me, but I was I do expecting have, you to move further. I do have an auto blaster turret for those range one shots. I know. There's nothing I can do about it though. So I'm going to uh, focus and push the limit for an evade. So it's my stress. So I shut it and I pick it up again. Yep. All right, and. Two bank. Two bank over. Oh yeah, put me way out. Yeah, I should have rotated it all the way behind me. Okay. I think I can focus. So I am not lone wolf, but I am range three of you. Mm -hmm. And it's unobstructed. And I don't think. Nope. Nope, not at all. Alright. Go ahead, sir. With your... I don't need the evade. No, you don't need the, the evade in there. And Jesus! And there's no way I can get enough. Good game. Yeah. Good game, sir. Good game. I pretty much started my comedy of errors at the beginning. And uh, shouldn't have started facing that direction. I really did think my unhinged was going to give me more. But... It's just it's just the clockwise um, deployment and the initiative that really killed you. Yeah. Those two things. Yeah, and for some reason I was like, don't joust the ghost. No, just feed the ghost, man. Just keep feeding the damn thing. It's not, you can't handle that many hits. 16, admittedly, but... Yeah. Or, yeah. It has the evade, but like, you really want to use the evade? Not really. Well, only if you think you're never going to get shots. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. My mistakes made for a very short match. But you know what? There's a lot of Vaders over there. There's an awful the lot of Vaders over there. <laughs> I should have given you the Sabine one. Oh, that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Alright. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm still a dirt, like we all knew that. Um... I think your dash Lothal Rebel actually is, is pretty solid still. I mean, it's a sort of a minor modification of what you were doing with it before. Yeah, I was doing Super Dash with um, Intelligence Agent instead of Ezra and No Torpedo mm -hmm. Lothal. Yeah, and uh, I like that. It's uh, it's a pity that you won't be at the uh, Star Tournament at EG. I won't be at the Star Championship, and I won't be playing at Stardust, o Stardust Series because I'm managing the event. Yep, yep. That's okay. That's okay. That means the rest of us have a better chance. So. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't get top eight at regionals last year, so. Hey, the only reason I got top eight was Palp Defenders, man. So. Matt, still play it. <laughs> it's hmm? Still good. Yeah, I'm. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I just. Yeah. Especially Ryan. It really. It really, it really was my winningest list. It really was. Yeah, the green K turns. That was. Solid. And you know what? It's possible that it's even stronger than it used to be because people aren't going to tech to beat it anymore. That's true. They won't be building specifically to counter top defenders anymore. You may have convinced me to bust out my whole list and take it back to town. So <laughs> do, it. do well. Hey, there's a reason you keep flying dash, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to be uh, ditching out for the evening now. Uh, gonna head off and uh, dream about X-wing and some list do some uh, list building in my head. Maybe I'll do some modifications of my palp defenders and make it a little more modern. So those of you watching the archive, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Let us know if you done if you uh, saw a derp that we didn't catch because we always like to know. And uh, don't forget to check out the Stardust series. Uh, information will be down in the description below. Yeah, and if you look at the uh, the website, there's also a listing of all the prizes that I've photographed so far. There's always more stuff coming in the mail. Yep. And, uh, there are, there's actually stuff in the mail right now. So we're coming up really close to the tournament, but there's still stuff en route. So. Just yesterday, I got donated a uh, X-Wing game mat. Awesome. Fantastic. So yeah, the prize pool increases. It just grows yep. and grows and grows. And uh, so when... When we've got, when we're done with Stardust, keep your eyes peeled because there'll be uh, more information coming uh, about the Mustache Open that uh, I'm planning for November. Uh, but uh, all planning for that is to happen after we get Stardust under our belts. Yeah. 
Right on. So thanks again for joining us, folks. We'll be back next week. So we'll see you next time here on the channel.